Hey there, my sweet souls. Welcome back to another episode of Her Wellness Business Empire. I am your guide on this hopefully transformative journey. I'm Diane Del Reyes, and I'm absolutely thrilled to dive into today's topic, which is all about the earth element. Now, you might be wondering, how does the earth element, now this is let me just remind you, the earth element is part of a holistic system called the five elements in Chinese medicine. But the way I use the five elements is a framework for creating, growing, building your thriving wellness business because it actually translates into everything. Now, I'm not going to dive down the rabbit hole of the five elements, but just know that this is a powerful framework. And I want to talk about the earth element today because the earth element is really known as its season is really about uh, the transformation from summer into autumn. Because uh, each element has a season, and this one has this transformative late summer uh, season. So, again, before I go down the rabbit hole of that, I just want to plant that seed in why I'm doing it right now. But just know that this, what I'm going to share with you, <laughs> is something that you should be focusing on all year in your business. It's part of a holistic framework. You need all the elements to really make your business successful. So let's get ready to uncover the nurturing essence that fuels your audience connections. So your ideal clients or customers or patients, the transformational power that drives your business growth and the boundless empathy that sets your wellness business apart. So again, welcome. I'm so happy you are here. Today, we're diving into the nurturing core of the earth element and how it beautifully aligns with three vital aspects in your holistic wellness business. We're going to talk about the earth element characteristics of transformation, nurturing, and empathy as pillars of growth and impact in your business. So let's dive in to first the nurturing aspect. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on nurturing your audience. So let's talk about what that means as it relates so to the earth element. This is an essential quality of the earth element is this nurturing, caring aspect of the five elements, the earth element, and how it resonates with cultivating relationships. So just to give you a little um, context, the fire element is really all about connecting, creating connections with your audience, with your ideal customers, clients, or patients. And the earth element is really about cultivating and nurturing these relationships. So this is really, really important. And there's several ways that you can actually take this nurturing quality and put it into action. Because I really, I want to, I, when I do these episodes for you, it's really for you to put into action in your business. So again, now, how do we foster genuine connections with this audience? Like, how do we foster this nurturing element? You can start with creating heart-centered or whatever your brand is, social media engagement. Uh, with insightful content that speaks to their needs. So really putting your in service is another aspect. Being in service is part of the earth element. And so how can you connect? How can you serve? How can you create value that speaks to their needs? Um, another way to do that is with your email list. So we talked recently on a different episode about creating connection with your email list, having a, a lead magnet, 
and also building your email list of strong, specific ideal clients or customers. So what's important in the earth element phase of that process is to continue to nurture them. As an example, they have opted into your your lead magnet, which is that's part of the fire element phase. Now you have to nurture them. You can't just have them go in and then drop them. You have to cultivate that relationship. So you're going to set up a nurture sequence for your audience on your email list. And and that's a, I can create a separate training for that about how to really, like, what are the phases in, in a nurture sequence that you want to put people through? How, what is the framework for that? So that's really important. Okay. So yeah, so it's really important to nurture them in your email sequence and then also staying connected with them. Once they go through this uh, nurture sequence, I, in my Leverage Your Holistic Business Academy, I say, from nurture to newsletter with love. It's also important to stay connected with them even after they go through that nurture sequence. And by the way, you set that up automatically. It's not like every time somebody opts in, you're like typing them, hey, Jane, blah, blah, blah. No, (laughs) you have that automated setup once, set it and forget it. It's beautiful. It's seamless. It's stress-free. You feel good about it because people are opting in whenever they want from wherever they want. It's a beautiful thing. I have it set up. We call that sometimes a funnel. I have that set up for many, many of my my products, my opt-ins, and you may have seen been in some of them. So that's all automated. And it's really where you create connection. They start seeing your personality. They start hearing your voice, how you're creating value, how you're connecting with them and nurturing your audience can really, really lead to profound impact and creating trust. That's so important. All right. Now let's move into transformation or what I like to call transformational magic, because this is really what your business is all about, right? It's about creating transformation. So again, the earth element is really about transformation. Just as an example, as far as how that shows up in our body, the earth element is related to our spleen and stomach and the spleen takes in food and it transforms it into energy. So that's kind of just a quick example of this transformative power within the earth element. This is all about what is the transformation you are creating for your customer, client, patient. You have to be very specific. You have to know what will you do in the wood element, which is really identifying your your niche, your brand, your your customer journey, like who they are. Customer journey is really a part of the nurture sequence, but you have to know who it is that you are attracting in that fire element to then create that nurture sequence to create the transformation. So it's really about the problem that you're solving. What transformation should your client or patient customer expect when they opt in, when they go through a nurture sequence, when they show up in your social media? So what is that that transformation? So some of the ways you can do that is the first thing, first transformation is going to be in the lead magnet, right? You're going to take one small step into understanding the bigger picture. You know, they want to be here. Your lead magnet's going to get them one step of the way. And then working with you will fill in the gaps. So what is the transformation that they should expect? When you are working with a group course, a group coaching or training so that you're leveraging your time and your expertise and you're impacting more people, you're going to have a very specific problem that you're solving for a very specific group of people. Okay. 
Now, empathy. This is really your business superpower. Empathy is a big characteristic of the earth element. Your empathetic nature really can create lasting impact in your business. Your clients feel like you understand them even better than they understand themselves. The nature of empathy really builds authentic connections, understanding your clients' needs deeply and offering solutions that truly make a difference. So some different ways that you can actually create empathy would be active listening, right? Listening to understand, not just to respond. So I remember I have, I had a roommate a while ago, several years ago, and she would always say to me, you're such a great listener. And I didn't even realize that was a strength of mine. But then I realized it was because of the 20 years I was be- from being an acupuncturist and really listening to my patients. So being an active listener is an incredible way to create empathy. Also asking open-ended questions and holding space for them. This is really fabulous way to integrate empathy into your business. This is going to create that no like, and trust factor, specifically the trust factor. All right. So there you have it. We talked about the characteristics of nurturing, transformation, and empathy. All of these characteristics will really elevate your wellness business, and they are part of this framework. So I encourage you to integrate these insights into your wellness business right away. And you are going to see a difference in how your your students or your clients or your patients respond and how they have more trust and how you create more confidence. So there is an innate power to cultivate thriving businesses. And having these three characteristics can really radiate positive change and perspective purpose. So thank you for allowing me to share and explore the earth element to help you in your business. I again invite you to apply the nurturing, transformative, and empathetic principles into your business today. So how will you, I want to hear from you, how will you integrate some of these characteristics into your business, please let me know below. And I look forward to sharing more of the elements and more ways for you to grow your wellness business, because there are so many people who need you and they don't even know about you yet. (laughs) So they're just waiting for you. There you have it, my amazing change makers. An episode dedicated to the earth element and its profound influence on nurturing, transforming, and empathizing within your holistic wellness business. Until next time, keep igniting your purpose driven business and make a massive difference in others' lives, including your own. See you soon.